Hey guys, it's Ape Me Rain. You are looking awesomely beautiful today. Guys, I'm so excited to be doing some Minecraft art for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to just draw in 3D. You can press all your friends, be like, hey, I know how to draw Minecraft art in 3D. They're like, no, you don't. And you're like, yes, I do. Check it out. So all you'll need for this video is a mechanical pencil, some isometric paper, which if you guys don't have, I'll leave a link down below just what I got. I just have an 8x11. Uh, isometric paper is really good for drawing in 3D if you are designing or doing some kind of stuff like that. So you'll see how it works once I get the video going, but you can also use graph paper, line paper, works great too. Uh, you don't really need a prop, but I'm gonna draw your pick, Steve. Oh no, don't take my pick. Sorry, dude, I'm gonna have to take your pick. Don't worry, you can hang out with us over here just kind of just kind of chill you can watch the art happen buddy watch the art happen so i'm really excited to get this started yet again this setup first time doing a minecraft art video so you guys have to bear with me i will be jumping around here with my hands trying to draw things so i'll be all over the place oh whatever I'll, I'll, wish me luck wish me luck so the first thing we're going to do is just look at what we're drawing you guys don't have to use a prop but since the paper is very 3d itself It'll all come together very nicely. We're actually gonna draw this in two different shapes, or should say dimensions. So we're gonna draw one kind of like a this dimension. So if you're looking at it like this from a top view, and then one just lying on its side. So we're gonna get started. I'm just gonna put you up here. So yes, spacing is a big thing. I, yet again, I have like the smaller size. This is the size of a normal notebook kind of piece of paper. So we're gonna start just from a corner because I'm probably gonna draw like it here and then do the other one like maybe down here. So first thing you're gonna do is find out where you're gonna start the piece. So if you think the highest point of this is right there, so that's where we're gonna start just with drawing. So we're gonna actually put it maybe like here. Where do I want you? Like maybe here. That's a good spot. And you'll be able to see these kind of boxes in here once I start kind of drawing. So if you look at the shape of the top of the pick, it is three kind of cubes long. So we're gonna actually draw that three cubes down. So if you look, there's a cube right there. We're gonna draw one, two, three down, just like that. Then we're gonna go over one, cause of course you see it kind of goes over one. And then we're gonna go down another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I believe. But I think it's, is it seven? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not seven. That, make sure you count right, guys. So we're gonna go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. And the paper is just a bunch of triangles. That's all it is. So we're gonna go over, uh, do the other side. So we're doing one, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. And we're gonna go up. Jeez, it's really hard to draw around this camera because I'm like moving around. It's like a crazy setup. And then we're gonna go over, uh, we're gonna go up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. See, we're getting tight on room. That's why spacing is key. Make sure to be spacing right. So we're gonna actually come down one because this is now starting the actual like three dimensional side of it. And you can see it's like a bunch of triangles. So all those triangles are just sides of the cubes in 3D. So we're gonna go over one, just like just like this. So you could see other lines coming in, but you're just gonna go over one. And then you're gonna go over all the, all the way to the other cross, another six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna go over because it is one box thick. So that's all we're doing. One cube thick, come down, come over, and then come down again, all the way down here. And we're gonna lock you out. Boom, so there is our pick. We're gonna make sure we got our counting right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did count an extra one. Why did I count an extra one? See, that is my bad. Oh, geez, you guys are in the comments. They're gonna blow me up. There you go. Also put in the comments if you wanna see me draw anything else, cause that'll be a lot of fun if we drew, like, drew some other stuff. Yeah, so coming back, we are going to draw this coming out here. So now we're doing the other the, the other side of the 3D. So right now we have this back side, which you can draw this. Once I draw these kind of lines, stuff will really start to look more 3D. See that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna come down here. And we're gonna make our little box that comes out. So I don't know if you guys like the doing it kind of on both sides, but I kind of do just so you kind of shapes it right, making sure you're being even on both sides. Like I didn't. How am I, how am I get, get, getting an extra, getting an extra box there? That's not, that's not right. So let me do this and then come over one up. And there's going to be our little kind of pick to the side. We're going to come out here and come down over 
and down. So now we're doing yet again the flat side. Now we're gonna go up. So now you can kind of see how these lines are connecting. So we're gonna come all the way up yet again. So now it's easy. I don't even have to count because it's already kind of there. Cause it's, it's hard to see the boxes, but once you kind of see them, everything kind of makes sense. And still, it's still, you know, this is still fairly new for me to do, be drawing like 3D art. Like, I, I, this is the first video I've ever making for 3D Minecraft. So yet again, hit that like button if you want to see more stuff. I love creating for you guys. And I really believe in this YouTube creator to YouTube viewer interaction. So having the face cam and having the actual, you know, the actual art in front of you is, is so cool. So I wish more YouTubers kind of did stuff like that. And I think I went a little too far here. What I'm going to do is come back. You guys are going to be blowing up those comments okay so now we're gonna work on our actual uh, where it kind of comes down so see where the actual handle begins so this is actually a very difficult step because because it is angled in a way where we're looking at it like this so if you're looking at let's try to get the kind of camera so where you're looking at it down so it's gonna almost look like a straight line coming down so we're gonna try and do this as best I can so it is going down to be I think it's eight of them so you have eight peaks so there's a peak there actually i need to do yeah there's a peak there that's one two three four five six seven eight and then it is going to lock out where it will come down a little farther let's see i think it's like there we'll, we'll work on the other side and see what we get one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, boom. And it comes down like this. So now you'll see the 3D-ness, so it'll kind of pull back on these little lines a bit because you'll be looking down into the handle. It's kind of like that because you're, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. It'll look all cool. Nice, just like that. So that is how is that? Isn't that intense? How it looks like it's just falling back. This is why this paper is so cool because it shows the depth, the depth of things. Awesome. So now we're gonna do our side profile. So yet again, kind of make sure there's space. So if you're looking at it like this, uh, I think we're gonna start this one maybe like here, maybe. That's good. Yeah, maybe here. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So now it'll be much easier to do this one because we already did that one. We know the counting. So there's three there. Uh, this is a little different because you're looking at it like this. So the actual up is not going to be in the way that you think. It's going to be like this. So now we're going to count our one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure to get that one right this time. Then one, two, three here. And then we're gonna go down one. Now we're actually working on the side just so I can visualize it. We're gonna go over one, I believe, yes. And then we're gonna go down another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, now we're gonna come down just like that. Over one, come down. I'm already getting ahead of myself. We're gonna do a little end of the pick here. So now you guys can easily see that, oh, like that's what the paper's doing. It's showing you just like how things look in a 3D symmetric, isometric. Boom, over, up, come down. That's gonna be just rounded off. I believe, yeah, cause it'll come this way. Here's gonna be our end of the pick here. My arm is like way over here cause I have to draw and have, I have to draw, but have there be, I'm just not in front, I'm, I'm all the way on the side over here. You gotta just give me a little break. Usually a, l a little better artist than this, but I'm not like a pro. I'm not like super good at art. I like it. I'm more of a painter, but uh, I really wanna learn how to do more design stuff. Design stuff's always fun. Come over here, come over here. So now we're gonna do the same thing. Eight peaks, so you guys gotta count with me. One. Two, see how these look a little different? Three, four, let's get our five, get our six, seven, eight, nine, 
Why are we doing nine? You guys know there's just eight. Why'd you count to nine, guys? Coming down here. We get to the, there, and then we're gonna do their other side. One. Oh. Two. Three. These are a lot harder to do. Four. Five. Six. The paper has a very blue. These like really light blue lines, and that's what you're using as kind of a guide. So th they're they're not they're not too light, but you they you just look past them when you're drawing. So let's do this. I believe yeah, that's too yeah, that's too thick on the bottom there. So let's do that too. Come down here. Now you guys see it. There we go. Do our vertical lines first. here over come up here over come up here over uh, up here down we're doing our convex sides concave is when it comes up convex is when it comes down oh I miss geometry class yes there we go and we didn't do this side so let's do this really quick down one and all the way over boom just like that oh so much fun there's kind of oh wait, we didn't even get this side. guys you guys were looking at that I mean, like that is incomplete bro yes there we go there we go so now you guys can see it looking like that nice hope it's a, a good place for you so now we are going to do some color so I'm gonna leave a link down below of what kind of colors I also have, and this light too. I'll just link everything. No, no sponsors, guys. Of course, no sponsors. I'm gonna try and fit this in. So here's all the colors that I have. So a huge selection. So I'm gonna be selecting. Uh, if we want to do, do we want to do a, a hmm, what do we want? Let's do a diamond pickaxe because we're cool like that. Diamond pickaxes are really cool. So we're gonna get like a brown. I'm just gonna grab any kind of brown that's. Uh, I think we need like maybe two colors of brown. I'm gonna grab like two browns. That's good. Let's see if they'll stay. Stay. There we go. And then a kind of, you know, that diamond color. I think we'll grab a light and then a dark. There we go. Maybe something like that. Yeah, something like that. So we'll have to see how these look. There we go. Just two like that. Boom. Now we're just gonna draw the fun part. The fun part is when you're throwing in colors. I'm gonna put these colors kind of up here. All right. So we don't really need to use two colors for the handle, but I like to do two colors for the handle because why not? So first things first is the top. Uh, there's like a kind of darker that's on the, the outsides. So since you're looking at it, it'll be kind of like this. And I'm just gonna draw very lightly. Usually there's actual hard lines when you're in Minecraft. So you'll have to get used to kind of this different perspective of how things look so it's also dark it's going to be on these inside blocks so it's actually on these outside too so it's just on these blocks yeah sweet we're just going to color those in yet again just being very light it's important to draw light and do everything kind of lighter because then you go back through and do more like hard lines and that's when you get your real kind of color in is when you're going through your second phase of doing art. Yes. There we go. Oh, yes. Hope you guys are doing great today. That's always a nice uh, thing when I hear you guys are doing awesome. I feel like we need to do down here too. So let's see, these are gonna be lighter color. And I don't really know if you can actually see through. No, maybe, yeah, like that, yeah, let's see. Ooh, I'm learning things too, guys. Don't even, don't even. Don't even worry. Okay, I feel like there's one more that goes up too. So maybe this, this block, but you don't see, you don't see this because that's another block. Oh, this is all very confusing. That's why you gotta learn to comprehend 3D, very important. So we're gonna do this block down here. Boom. Yes, oh, and my phone's going off. How unprofessional am I? with phone call oh it's like an unknown number too that's always like really scary if anyone unknown number calls you i bet it's one of you guys being like hey you doing a video be like yeah 
Now we're just going to draw this. These are very easy to do just because they're all in one line. As you can see, I'm just using the same kind of stroke technique where it's just like up and down. Easy as that. So I'm not doing any like crazy angles. I'm just kind of just coloring it in lightly. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Yes, and those are gonna be all our darker ones. We do have a lighter brown, which isn't as light. Let's see if I can get something maybe a little lighter. I don't think, geez, I have so many colors. I have so many colors. But I'm gonna see if this looks any kind of different. Oh, it does. So we're gonna rock this really quickly. Yes, yet again, these are a lot easier to do once they're already, because then the colors blend really nicely and that's the best part about it. Oh yeah. Do these two, up here, up here. Oh, that actually doesn't get shown. I should have known that. Again, learning, learning. I think that also doesn't get shown too. These are all things that you'll figure out once you do like do this on your own. Yeah, yeah, boom, just like that. So now we are going to work on our diamond. Hey, I don't need no voicemails from you guys. Back off. Okay, now we are gonna rock the diamond. So you remember the how the dime, diamond pick works. It's darker on the outsides and then lighter on the insides. So we're gonna use this darker color and we're gonna get all on the outside. Oh yeah, that's a great color. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna work on all of this. Make sure to be staying within the lines. Remember the middle is what's actually gonna be shown through. So I think it goes to like here. So this is actually lighter. And work in here. Which yes, I believe in like erasers. Don't don't think I'm not gonna be trying to erase things, but it's since it's such a light, a light color, it'll be okay for for now. So yeah, I think it goes up to like a little bit, yeah, like there. So it doesn't go all the way over like this one does, but just like that. Now this too, all the way over, yeah. Here, down and up, all the way over to about here. Let's make it like, don't wanna go too far or too, too narrow, so let's do this. It again, just being really, Really soft with my, how I'm coloring. Keeping the same kind of strokes when I can. It's still extremely hard to be coloring when my arm is like bent so extreme. So something like that, yeah, just kind of getting that, that nice color through. Then we're gonna grab our lighter, our lighter kind of diamond color. It's a nice like blue teal. Very cool, I'm gonna color this. Yeah, and just fill in those spaces just like that. When I draw when I was young, I would always push really hard and then when I made mistakes, I couldn't like do anything about it. So now, now that I'm a little older, I know that, oh, this will take time in a bunch of stages. So make sure you're pressing lightly. So if anything happens and you're good. And voila, there you go. So if you're gonna be uh, doing another coat, so if I was gonna do this again, uh, with another layer, I would go really hard with my lines and maybe go through my with my mechanical pencil and use a ruler and make sure everything's sharper and uh, everything looked good. That is basically it. Yet again, uh, here's my colors that I have used. There's the numbers if you want to use those colors. Or let me know if you have these colors or have different colors where if you're doing this and they turn out different, like let me know. Yeah, I'd love to hear how your guys' artworks look yet again uh follow me on instagram and twitter and send me send me your art if you end up doing a uh, minecraft art because i really love doing art videos i just love being creative and i really believe in this strong like connection we have being youtube creator to youtube viewer interaction so the more of these we have the more i'm happy and i want you guys happy too and i really strongly believe in this in my channel where you could watch these videos and you could always just, I just feel like you're here. I feel like I'm in the room hanging out with you. I feel like we're just doing art. So if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to April May Rain because April cannot rain without its clouds. And like the video, make it rain on that like button. Really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments what I should do next. Stay awesomely beautiful guys and hope I'll see you once again.